Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist for Flex at Adobe. I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through how we can use Flash Builder 4.5 to build applications. These applications can run in the browser, on the desktop, or installed on a mobile device. So let's take a look at what I've already got started here. In Flash Builder, I have a few different projects already set up. First, there's a Java project that is going to allow me to connect to my server and store some information in a database about this meeting. So I'm using Spring and Hibernate to do all that work on the Java side. Now on the Flex side, I've created a, a, a web project. And what I've done is the three major components of this project I've externalized into a common library. That's this project up here. And that will allow me to reuse these components in my mobile project. So in my web project, I'm using one of those components, the create meeting component, to allow the user to enter their name, uh, the name of the person they're meeting with, and their location. Now I'm using another component here to display the list of meeting spots, and another one to display those meeting spots on a map. That'll be using the MapQuest Flex API. Finally, there's a component to display the selected meeting spot. So that's my web application code. Let's go into the browser and actually see how it works. So I've already deployed this application to middlemeetup.com. So let's go open it up there. And I'm going to enter uh, my name is James. Their name is Jenny. And my address is Arvada, Colorado. OK, so let's middle meet up with Jenny. OK, now we're waiting for the location from Jenny. So let's open up a new browser window here and uh, pretend we're Jenny and go back to middlemeetup.com. And now as Jenny, my name is Jenny, their name is James, and Jenny's location is Denver, Colorado. Okay, so now let's middle meetup. So both people now have specified their location. You'll see James is up in Arvada, Jenny is in Denver, and here's the places that are between us, both of us. So now we can go in and, and see these different places. Um, I think that Orange Julius looks like a good place to meet. So let's meet there. And now we see that final component to display uh, the selected location where we're going to meet up. We can also get directions using Google Maps. So that's the basic application that running in the browser. But what I want to take a few minutes and do is actually create a mobile version of this application. So of course, we could run that application in uh, any mobile device that has Flash Player on it. There's lots of those now. Um, but we may want to create an application that's actually installable on a device uh, so that we can have access to the GPS, uh, and other APIs that we can't do in the browser. So to do that, let's go into Flash Builder 4.5 and create a new Flex Mobile project. So here in my Flex Mobile project, I'm going to give it a name. We'll call it MMM. And then the view-based application is good, but I do need an additional permission here to get to the GPS location. And then I also need to add in that common library uh, to my build path. OK, so now we can build my mobile application. So what happened is it created for me first my just main application file. It created, it defaulted the first view. So this will be a stack of views. There will be three of them. And the first view is that home view. Now let's go in and specify a title, um, which will be middle meetup. OK. Now, we also are going to go into the application descriptor file and specify some information about this application. So I'm going to give it a, a ID of middle meetup dot app, and then a file name. Let's put in that middle meetup um, there for the file name, and then the name of the application middle meetup. And then for the Android market, the version number can't be zero, so we're going to make it 0.0.1. .0 OK. So now in our, our main home view, uh, we're just going to use the default title, so I can remove that. But let's add in that component that will display uh, the ability to, for someone to enter their name and the, and the name of the person they're meeting with. So that's the uh, create meeting component. And we're going to specify a parameter on here called use GPS. We're going to set that to true. So we'll actually get the location from the GPS. And now this particular component dispatches an event called meeting created. So we're going to set a handler for that event. So when a meeting is created, that means you've gone in and entered the information correctly. What we want to do is we want to actually navigate to the next view. So we use navigator.pushView, and we push the next view that we're going to create. 
So let's actually go create that view now. So let's go create a new MXML component and we'll call this one the meeting spots view. And we'll code that out in a second. Let's create one more view right now. Let's go create another MXML component for the selected meeting spot view. Okay, so we've got all three of our views now. So back in our home view, now let's tell it that we want when a meeting is created, let's push that meeting spots view there uh, onto the stack. So that'll activate that view. Okay, so that looks good. Now over in meeting spots view, what we actually want to do is display the list uh, of, of possible meeting places. We also want to set the title uh, to something else. Let's set it to meet, and then we want to get to the, the name of the person we're meeting with. So we're going to do that through this model object. So I've got model, instance, and then their name. That'll give me the, their name. Okay. Now, in this view, I'm going to create an instance of the meeting spot component. And this meeting spots component has two different events on it that we want to handle. The first is a view meeting details. And what this one will do is when the user selects one of these spots and wants to see the details, it's going to dispatch this event. In the case of the mobile application, we want to actually pull up the device's uh, native maps application to do that. So we're going to use this meeting utils dot open location, and the location is going to be model dot instance dot selected meeting spot. So I'll just take that selected meeting spot and open it up in the maps application on the device. And then the next event that we're going to get is going to be this meeting spot selected event. So that says, all right, when when someone has has chosen a spot to meet at, uh, what we want to do is we want to then display the next view, which is that selected meeting spot. So we're going to again use that navigator, and we're going to push a new view uh, onto the navigator, and that's going to be that selected meeting spot view. We also need to push some data along. So we want to push the event.data uh, to this view. So that's just a reference to the meeting spot that was selected. Okay, so that one looks good. Now let's go into the meeting spots view, the final one, and again, revert that title back to the default. Um, and now, in this view, we're going to create an instance of the selected meeting spot, uh, and then this takes a parameter of selected spot. We're going to use data binding to bind to that data object that we just passed into this view so that it knows which spot to display as being the one that's been selected. Okay, so that's it. That's our whole mobile application. We've just reused pretty much all the code from our web application, and now we have a mobile application. So now in order to run this application, uh, let's just go in and run it. So when I run it, I can either choose to run it in, an, in a kind of emulator on the desktop or uh, directly on the device. So it would actually use USB and push this application over to the device. So here we go on the device. It's now compiling and then pushing that application over to the device and running it. So there we go. It's running the application there on the mobile device. And now it's asking me uh, to enter my name. I'm going to enter some short names here. Uh, first, my name is J, their name is C, and you'll see that the location has been detected because uh, it actually used the GPS to find that. So that's great. And now let's go in and uh, hit enter. And so now let's say it's, it says it's waiting for location from C. So let's go back to the middle meetup.com and now we'll go be that person C and we'll enter their, their uh, that name and J and Denver as C's location, and now we'll do middle meetup. So there we go. Now we have the locations of possible places to meet uh, on the web browser and on the mobile device. So what we can do on the mobile device is actually go in and select one of these locations and see that it actually pulls it up there in the native maps application. So it's searching for it. There we go, found it, that's great. Now let's go back to the application and that looks like a good place to meet so let's meet there and you'll see that now both people are meeting there so that's great that's how easy it was to, to build and run this application on a mobile device we can even do debugging uh, all the things that you would expect normally when building flex applications on the device but now let's take it a step further and say that you actually want to take this application and put it into the Android market so that people can use this application 
So to do that, what we're going to do is export this as a release build. And this will create the APK file, which is the Android package file for this application. So what we'll then be able to do is take that APK after we've signed it, digitally signed it, there we go. And we'll actually put this application up into the Android market. So now let's actually do that. Let's pull up our browser here and let's go into the Android market and upload this application. So I'm going to choose the APK and that'll be, yep, that MMM.APK. Let's upload that. So now that's going to upload that actual application up to the Android market. Great. So that application's uploaded. Now let's add some screenshots. So I'm going to go in and I've already created some screenshots here. Uh, so I'm going to go specify these and let's upload the first one. We need at least two. So we'll put the first one in there and then add another one here. Let's put the second one in and upload it. And then we're also going to need to specify the high-res application icon. I've also created one of those. So let's go upload that. And now we've got everything we need uh, up in the Android market. Let's just specify the title. That'll be middle meetup and the description. Find a, find a place to meet in the middle. Okay. And then we need to specify the application type. It's an application and it's, let's say, travel and local. Um, and this content rating is for everyone. Okay, available to all locations. Meets the guidelines and I acknowledge. Uh, so let's go ahead and publish. So now this application is actually live uh, on the Android market. So let's go see, uh, there it is, middle meetup. So my application is live. Now anyone can go download and install and run this application from the Android market. So that's how easy it is to build applications with Flash Builder 4.5. Those applications can run in the browser, on the desktop, or on mobile devices. I hope you'll take a look at Flash Builder 4.5 and let us know what you think. Thanks.